we start to become angry, we start to get upset, we want to fight other people. So the process of helping people is to put in positive things. Um, we put in things that will help them to interpret information in a good way. Okay. So all this is very scientific, the whole thing. Okay. Um, and when I gave my talk for three hours, the teachers who were Muslim, they were crying. They were, said, they were saying, this is exactly what we need for our country. Okay, they, they accept it. They, 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 want, they wanted more. So that paved the way for Dr. Judo in the afternoon, and he talked um, uh, about the role of the teachers and so on. And it was well accepted by everyone. So the message seems to go through Muslim countries like Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Yes. And also the Emirates. Yes. But you did say that 40% of Mexico have adopted Psi values in education. That's amazing. Yes. Uh, well, you know, it's a job of the avatar <laughs> to, to do all this, to transform the world. And we are preparing for that critical mass so that one day the whole world would change and there would be peace in the world. Okay. So things are really happening everywhere. Uh, yes, um, um, many students from Mexico, teachers from Mexico, have come to Thailand and they were trained. Okay. Uh, they went back, they did a lot of good job everywhere, uh, wherever they, they, they come from. In fact, in uh, South America as a whole, uh, there's a lot of activities in such a size education there. Um, they have more such a size schools than any part of the world uh, in South America. They're very active people, uh, working hard. Um, we have um, six or seven schools in, in Brazil alone, and it's springing up in Colombia, in Venezuela, in Chile, in Argentina, Paraguay, uh, everywhere. So many countries are, are now very active in education in uh, South America. Thank you, Dr. Jumsai. But just to explain your name, Jumsai, you said, is a family name, meaning unity. Each Thai organization you go and talk to, they talk about, Bhagwan, of course, talks about unity before purity, before attaining divinity. There doesn't seem to be much of unity amongst so-called senior brethren of Psi organizations. What's your advice to them? I've already explained to, to everyone that when we come into the Psi organization, okay, Swami will then work on us by quickening the karma. And in order to, when, if you're going to quicken the karma, it means all the negative things will come out. Okay, so they're being brought out so that we can change more quickly, so that we recognize the divinity that is within us. So what's happening around the world is that uh, the quickening of the karma amongst the uh, Sai brethren, that means they start to quarrel, they start to have a lot of uh, difficulties here and there, a lot of obstacles, because Swami is working on them and testing them and uh, it's a natural process where some will also fall by the wayside. It's, uh, the, it's the uh, sorting of the wheat from the shaft, uh, which Swami mentioned in the, on the 60th birthday, that he's now doing that uh, around the world. So this explains why uh, there seem to be a lot of problems within the organization itself, but it's only for the good. And finally, the organization will shine and will be the example for everybody else, um, uh, after a little bit of trials and uh, problems and workshops that, that we all have to go through. In a minute or so that we have got left, can you leave a positive message to those who have listened to you for the past hour? You know, there's only one thing in the world that we need, and that is love. Uh, we don't need anything else. Love is enough. If we love one another, if we love everybody, we love um, 
the whole world, animals, plants, the world will change overnight. Certainly it will change for us. When we start to love everyone, then we feel tremendous peace, joy, happiness, and we are also radiating this love to others, people around us will also feel a lot of peace, a lot of joy and happiness. And they will continue. It will expand. It will change. Uh, and very soon we'll have complete peace in the world. So this is something that I, I would love to have everybody be filled with peace, with love all the time. So the message is love. Om Sairam. Sairam. Sairam.